Hi folks, Dan Dow here with Total Sales Solutions where we sell mostly diesel trucks, but we will sell pretty much anything. And today here in Jackson, Mississippi, we've got something falls under pretty much anything. This is a 2008 GMC Acadia. It's the top of the line SLT model. Got pretty much everything you could get on one of these. I'm going to take you on a quick walk around take you around the block show you drive it and everything so let's get started see up front not chipped up not beat up paints in good shape my uh, there's a little bit of spot around that fog light hole not a big deal just nitpicking tires have treads good on them uh, got the outside signaling I think that's a blind spot detector. I'm not sure how that works. There are a couple little dings here and there that have been touched up, but nothing major. Seats have a little bit of wear on them, but no rips or tears, no odors. It does have the dual moon roofs, uh, so you got both of those that come with it. Um, dash it and peeling isn't cracked. Got the storage up here, dual zone climate. I'll show you more of that when we go to driving it, but you can see the steering wheel's in great shape. Not ripped or torn. Bose stereo. This is a southern truck, so obviously no rust, no uh, holes or corrosion, any of that. Rear climate uh, and stereo controls in the back. I got that flipped down just to show you, but I'll flip it back up in a minute. Uh, this one flips down too, and I think there's a way that you can just take them out or flip them more, but you see in the back here, the rear seat, good shape, good tread in the back, um, no signs of paint work. The only nitpick I've got on it, it's got a little ding there in the Acadia lettering, not a big deal. You see you got the power hatch, that does work, um, dual exhaust. This, like I said, is the top of the line model, dual sunroofs, pretty much everything. That's a little uh, trailer wiring hookup if you decide you want to pull a trailer with it. I guess there may be a hitch behind there or something, but got the push button. Well, my battery died, so I'm going to have to switch to my cell phone. But anyway, you can see back here, too, tires are fine. Let me flip this seat back up. Well, there we go uh no rips or tears got a little dirt here and there could probably use a good scrubbing but you know it's an suv i mean it's been hauling kids and stuff around i don't have a cleanup guy he's in prison so uh just gonna have to sell it like it is but you can see power seats work mats are in good shape got the manuals in it um bose stereo got the luggage rack got all the all the goodies if you have any questions about it give me a call 601-376-9869 i'm gonna hop in we'll take you for a spin okay back in the truck crank it up you can see all the lights come on then they go off um it's got the tire pressure monitoring uh am fm stereo low button so i'm assuming probably a six disc cd changer <coughs> now it may look like it's blinking in the video but that's just the frame rate on my camera the display is, is steady it's solid it's not blinking it's just the camera if it shows up like that in the video like it is on the display of my phone but anyway pull it down in gear trash control tow command uh tow tow mode i should say uh, heated seats, automatic dimming rear view mirror, OnStar, garage door opener, pretty much everything you can think of. Now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work. I'm recording on a cell phone and with one hand driving with the other. But even though the video may come out a little shaky, the truck rides and drives great. It's got the... Uh, key and the remote so you're all good there um, doesn't pull to the left or right doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes 
if you want to fly into Jackson International Airport, drive this home, you can. I would not hesitate to uh, hop in it, drive it absolutely anywhere. It uh, fires right up, battery's good in it. Uh, I've, I pretty much, I think, nitpicked everything there is to nitpick on it, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's not a pristine car, <coughs> not a new one, not showroom, uh, but it's a nice driver. It's not beat up. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Um, what was I trying to say? It goes down the road like it should, uh, and I'm not asking an arm and a leg for it either. Now you may hear a little beep and that's just the seat belt alarm. I didn't buckle my seat belt, but um, no lights on the dash lit, none of that. Um, like I said, you're welcome to fly in and drive it home, but we understand most of our customers are from the Northeast and the Midwest and they're buying from us because we've got good prices and rust-free vehicles. So if that's you, we understand you may not have time <coughs> Excuse me. To spend several days flying or driving down and then driving home. So if that's you, don't let the idea of shipping this truck scare you off from it. And don't let the prices you may see if you look up online for quotes scare you off. Because most of those guys aren't actual shippers, they're just brokers. And they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they call it a deposit. But all it really is, is their broker's fee for finding somebody else to do the actual hauling. Well, they all use this one website called Central Dispatch to do that. It costs two or three grand a year to be on it, but we're on it. So basically, we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping. So if you're interested, shoot me a text with your zip code to 601-376-9869. I'll be glad to get you a... A quote on shipping be a ballpark quote because all I do is plug in my zip and yours into the website it gives me an average rate based on the last five similar loads so it won't be an exact figure but it'll be close and uh, you know if you're in a hurry we can post it for a little more and make it worth somebody's while to come get it out of their way or if you're not in a hurry we'll post it for less and wait on somebody who's got an empty spot on the trailer that wants to make a deal. But either way, we'll get it to you. Uh, we won't be the shipper. We'll just arrange the shipping. So uh, all you have to do is either FedEx us a cashier's check or do a bank wire for the price of the truck only. And then once we get that, we post it for shipment, send you the paperwork, and just wait for somebody to haul it. Once we find somebody, we'll... Uh, let you know we'll make all the arrangements and all you do is when they drop the truck off you hand them cash for the shipping so it's a smooth simple deal if you're interested like i said shoot me a text with your zip code 601-376-9869 and uh we'll go from there but uh if you have any questions about this truck call me if you want to make an offer call me I know what it takes to buy it any of that the only thing i've noticed inside that doesn't work is there's a little compass or a thermometer or something built into that uh, rear view mirror and it does not light up so uh, that's the only thing I know of on the inside that doesn't work um, so anyway if you have any questions about it give me a call you want to make an offer and what it takes to buy it any of that give me a call I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have 601 three seven six nine eight six nine appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything we've had to say and look forward to seeing you here in jackson mississippi thank you